Now let's begin to add some texture to the head. We already have a basic skin texture that we've used on the body. So let's go to the body and I'm just gonna package this out so that we can use this as a base for the head. So we'll right click on this and choose create smart material. And then let's come down and find it here. So skin base, let's go to our head and let's just add the skin base to the top here and we can get rid of that bottom layer. Now, if we jump into the folder, you can see that there are a couple of masks here that right now are black. So I'm just gonna go in and add our shells here. And then we'll do the same thing here. You could also, in some of those cases, get rid of the mask, but I do wanna have the mask there because I want to, in some of these cases, kind of blend some of this out a little bit more in some of these areas. All right, so now we've got the color coming through. We've got the main bumpiness coming through. We've got the scales coming through. And then the curvature map, we have that as a layer. And you can see it's automatically switched to use a different curve map. So it's not like we exported the layer, the curve layer that was the curve of the body and it came through here. It's a smart material. So it knows, okay, it knows to use the correct curvature map basically. All right, so it switched over to the head. So now what we can do is start to blend some of these details out a little bit more. So in this case, maybe we want the scales to be a little bit less intense. We'll go to filter. I'm just gonna choose a height adjust and maybe just take those down just a little bit. Okay, maybe something like that. Now we can start to blend out some of these details. So for instance, on the scales, let's say, we can come into the mask I'm gonna turn on, make sure that symmetry is turned on. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of mask out some of these areas a little bit more. And so just using a black color, and I want flow to be determined by the pen pressure. Let's take our size down a little bit. And just in here, right around the eye, on the eyelid, I wanna kind of take that scaling out a little bit. So we'll kind of bring this out. Okay, and you can see how the it's affecting the bump as well, or the, the overall bump. We can blur that out a little bit. Okay, also on these harder edged areas or these kind of bonier areas, I'm gonna blend it out up here. Kind of back into the head. Okay, kind of something like that. It's also kind of blended out up here in the front. I'm gonna turn off the horns for now so we can kind of see inside of here. Okay, something like that. Also, we may wanna up here kind of remove some of this from the top just because this is gonna be a little bit more of like a hard surfacey kind of a look. And so we don't necessarily want the, the skin kind of scaly kind of texture there. So I'm just going to come to like the rim out here. Kind of blend that back out. Also inside of the ear. Um, let's actually, I'm actually going to leave that for now, I think. Something like that. We can also go ahead and then on the actual mask, add a filter, and let's choose a blur on this one. So that'll just kind of blur that filter out a little bit, that transition. Another thing that I wanna do is add some color to the ears. So let's add a new layer, and I'm gonna add this outside of the skin base. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna add a new, let's add a paint layer. All right, I'm gonna go to brushes. I don't want to get kind of a, a rough, kind of dirty brush. Maybe Dirt 3 would be good. The dots would be good as well. Let's go ahead and try. Let's try the Dirt 1 first, maybe Dirt 1, and then go back to the dots here in a second. So I'm going to take the size down. And in here, I want to choose to paint the color and the roughness. The color, I'll make kind of a red color. 
and maybe into a little bit of the purple. All right, and the roughness, I'll take this roughness down quite a bit. So now I'm just gonna come in and start to paint this. Get a kind of a smaller brush size. I'm just gonna come down and start to blend it into the head here. And the key with making a lot of these organic things look more realistic is layering and changing your colors and layering a bunch of those together. So let's go ahead and modify this red, make it a little bit more in the red and a little bit darker. Go back over it. I'm gonna go all the way up to the edge there, kind of blending down into the head. Now let's go a bit lighter and just kind of not try to cover it all, but just kind of real patchy kind of over the top of it. Let's now jump down to maybe the dots brush right here. Let's get kind of a darker red, the smaller size, and this will give us a little bit more of a splotchier look. We can kind of alternate dark and light and then even alternate the hues as well. And mine is kind of a reddish pink color. Yours doesn't have to be that. It can be whatever color you want. Just trying to add a little variation to the head in terms of the color, but then also the shininess of it. So maybe you add a little bit of purple to it, the mix. Kind of blending it down into the surface. Let's get a little bit lighter. Again, just with a pretty light touch. I'm not adding any kind of bump or anything right now. I'm just adding this kind of color variation. Let's go back down something a bit more saturated and let's go more of a red, the reddish red and just kind of darken that up a little bit. Let's go really dark. Get a little bit more variation in there. There we go. Not a lot of contrast going on. So we'll drop a few real dark spots in there to kind of help with that. Then you can always come in here, change the roughness. So maybe we want to make it in some spots a little bit shinier. We come in here and break things up a little bit. If it's a little bit too much, kind of too uniformly shiny, you can kind of go a little bit rougher and darken it back in. We can also go to the eraser. If there are areas where it doesn't blend as well, in, back into the neck, we can come in here and kind of break things up. On the eraser, you know, you can use different brushes with the eraser as well to kind of break it up in a little bit more of a natural way. All right, and then we can also come in here and start to blend this in. So maybe it's not as distinct. So something like that for the ears. And we can call this ears. Let's go ahead and continue with the head in the next clip, we'll add some kind of a blush, kind of a color around the eyes and some of the other areas to make it come a little bit more live. And then we'll add some kind of blue head bumps and look at how we can start to uh, change some of that detail. So we'll do that next.